As a safety, do you get more excited about playing on offense like this, or does it even matter to you? Oh, absolutely. For me, it's a, it's a, this week's going to be a test for the secondary. And I love it when teams, you know, spread it out, throw it around. And uh, especially going up against this quarterback, I, I don't think he's throwing an interception this year. They've, um, they've been taking care of the ball really well. So it's going to be a challenge for us. I'm ready for us to try to get some takeaways this game also and prove a point. What about the ability? You know, you'll get more yards than you want to against Ole Miss. But Singer's kind of in flux. He had some injuries you guys are dealing with throughout the entire game. But still, we're able to come up with the play at the end of the game. Is kind of confidence that gives y'all going forward. Oh, absolutely. It, it gives us a lot of confidence knowing that you know, we, we didn't play our best game, but we still came out with victory. And um, the biggest thing is you got to just focus on the next play. No matter how bad the last play was or how good the last play was, you have to keep keep on trucking and worry about that next play. And uh, like you said, at the end of the game, Hurd came up with a great interception for us, just reading their quarterback and sliding under that route. And um, like you said, this week is going to be, we're going to have some, some more moving parts since uh, Howard can't play. But as I say up here every week, you know, we have people that can play both corner and safety, nickel and safety. So, you know, it'll, it'll be good for us that for things like this. This is why we do this. This is why we have people playing both positions just in case something happens to one of our players or something like that. You said you uh, had a point to prove. What, what's the point to prove? No, I'm just, just saying, like, uh, I really like to get the first interception or turnover on a quarterback. Like, he's, he's been taking care of the ball really well this year. And, I would, we would really like to be the first team to get that okay. interception. Okay. How is the, have you studied a lot of film on them? Because they've, they've had a lot of offensive snaps. If he had to burn an interception, that's pretty impressive given how many passes he's done. Yeah, he's, he's a smart quarterback. You know, they, they do a lot of short passes and things like that. And uh, they really do go go no huddle. They, they, they speed it up. I think last game they ran about, about 30, 38, 40 plays in the first quarter. And they, I think they ended up with 101 snaps or something like that. So it's going to be a fast-paced game, both sides of the ball. And then they run cool. a lot of snap um, slant patterns? Yeah, they, they try to uh, get the ball out on the edges. They'll try to go no huddle and throw the bubble out there and make the, the corners tackle and things like that. So we're just going to have to be, be, be ready to go and line up and get set. That's the biggest thing. They've had a lot of success with teams not being ready, you know, looking to the sideline trying to get the call. And, and we've, we've gone through it all spring and all fall against fast-paced offense going against our offense, so I think we'll be ready. How big are you in Donnie Bags, and what have you seen from this season going into this game? <clears throat> I'm very confident in Donnie. I mean, he's been growing every single year uh, since the spring. He's learning the defense a lot. He's been growing every single week, and he's continuing to get better. Um, <laughs> last week he had some very good effort plays, and he had some very good plays reading his keys and everything, and I'm confident in what he's going to bring to the table this week. That game remind you of any other game in your college or high school career when you're down like that, and everything going bad, and then, then you pull it out? Oh, that game really, uh, I had no other game like that in my football career. I mean, that, that was pretty important, but I mean, that game's last week. Um, as a team, we've all moved on, you know, woke up Sunday, and we realized we got to start getting ready for Louisiana Tech. That game's in the past. We can't worry about it. You saw the tape of Coach Sumlin in the locker room after the Ole Miss game, though, and he was going pretty crazy. Were you guys surprised by that? Oh, no. Uh, we Everybody was emotional. We were also happy uh, just because we had to keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Uh, we were down so long. Everything was going Ole Miss's way, uh, turnovers, everything. And we just kept fighting. We never gave up. And guys made plays. And at the end of the game, we're, we were just so happy. And we got into the locker room, and everybody remembers that it was great. Uh, we all loved it. So, no, nobody was. Um, about something or anything like that. So you're coming off that high and that emotion, and then you come into the film, I guess, yesterday to be critical. How how intense was it? Just You won, but you were breaking down so many mistakes. <coughs> well, uh, it's always easier to be critical <coughs> after a win than after a loss. It's always, you know, you can understand what coach is talking about more after you win and after you lose. So film's not as rough after you get the win.